Welcome to Coding Secrets and today we're looking at the full screen 30 frames per second animation used to display the Sega logo and game over text in Sonic 3D. We knew that to achieve full screen animation at this frame rate we'd have to use just two colours, but everything on the console hardware was stored and processed in 16 colours, all the backgrounds and all the sprites and everything. So if you wanted to fill the screen with an animation, you had no option but to unpack and copy a full screen 16 colour image, and even at the lowest resolution supported, that would take over 28k. The most the console could copy a frame was only around 7k or so, meaning a maximum full screen frame rate of around 15 frames a second, even if you could unpack the data fast enough, which you couldn't. So how did we do it? Well, here's a look at what's actually animating. You can see that it's a 16 colour image and it's animating at 7.5 frames a second. So if it's animating so slowly, how can we see such a nice smooth animation in the game? I'll try and explain. Let's take a single frame of the animation and load it up into Photoshop. Ok, let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Now to simulate the console, I'm going to convert this into a 16 colour image format. And having done that, we can bring up the 16 colour palette showing all the colours used. Photoshop calls this the colour table. Now watch what happens to the image when I turn certain colours black and other colours white. We now have a black and white image of the two letters. So what's the big deal? We could have done that without using all 16 colours. Well, watch what happens if I use a different combination of which colours are black and which colours are white. The letters have moved. In fact, there are four different combinations of colours that can be set to black and white which produce four different positions for the letters. In effect, four different animation frames stored within one 16 colour image. So this 16 colour mess contains four different two colour animation frames that you can access just by changing the palette. So we decompress and display the image at 7.5 frames a second, but change the palette at 30 frames a second to unlock all the animation frames. And the great thing about this is it only uses about 500 bytes of frame, meaning that we could get nearly 4.5 minutes of full screen 30 frames a second animation on a 4 megabyte cartridge like Sonic. But then of course there would be no room left for the game. Thanks for watching. Thank you.